Well, when I was a medical student, there really wasn't a lot of people out there endorsing primary care as a practice model. But as I went through my training, I had the opportunity to spend time in an office with a practicing physician. And after having looked at a ton of opportunities, everything from psychiatry to rheumatology to dermatology, I knew instantly within, within the day of being in the office with this physician that family medicine was where I needed to go to be happy as a physician and to provide the kind of care that I wanted to give to people in my community. We've been here for over 25 years. Actually, soon we'll be here 30 years. And we've been, uh, been actively present all that time. No, no breaks, no shutdowns. Uh, always, uh, always here day in and day out. Um, as a medical student, I've come to appreciate over the past two weeks um, the really good relationship that you establish with your patients um, in primary care. And it also um, establishes a continuity of care um, in patients. The most important thing that a family doctor does, the thing that makes us unique within healthcare, is the establishment of long-term continuity relationships with patients. They become part of your family and you become part of their family. I brought my son Richard here when Dr. Van Winkle was in his office for three days. 25 plus years. His care for patients is awesome. Very caring, very loving, extremely loyal. My very favorite thing about Dr. Van Winkle is that he's a gentle, kind, caring person and that it shows in the way he talks to you and the respect he gives you. And uh, my son doesn't respond to a lot of doctors, but he's always responded to Dr. Van Winkle. And so here we are, 33 years later, and going strong, and I really feel in my heart, if I wouldn't have found him, I don't know if my son would still be here. He's been not only my doctor, he was my father's doctor when he was alive, he's my mother's doctor, my wife, my children. His care for patients is awesome. I started out with my mother in the nursing home. He was taking care of her. So I then brought my dad out here so that he could take care of him. Um, then I thought, well, why am I driving to the medical center when I can get the care I need from the same doctor? It's easier on my care because I'm not running back and forth to specialists that I don't need to. What I do know is it cuts out on having to take him to so many other doctors that are not familiar with him, that don't know him, and that just make an assessment in a very quick manner about what he needs. Part of the high cost and waste within healthcare in the United States is built around fragmented care. Family physicians bring a closure and a tightening of the healthcare system around the patient, making them the center of care and allowing for more cost-effective and better quality care than has ever been possible before. There's a new model uh, being rolled out called the Patient-Centered Medical Home, and it strictly is that. It's about patient-centeredness, and family doctors are the doctors uniquely qualified to make that system work. Three years ago, when the Texas Academy of Family Physicians came to me and offered me an opportunity to run for Board of Directors of the American Academy, I gave it a lot of careful consideration because it's a major commitment of time and energy and uh, ultimately decided yes and the Academy decided yes as well and I've had the opportunity to serve for three years on the Board of Directors. During that time I've learned a lot about healthcare issues, about how our doctors are faring in this transition period of healthcare and I feel like we're reaching a critical point where I can be of service to the Academy in helping us move forward through this time of transition. You know, clearly uh, we face a lot of challenges right now, uh, but we also have a lot of opportunities. And I think we need to move forward with our efforts to try and transition our doctors to, to move us towards a family medicine-based primary care healthcare delivery system, but also to help relieve family physicians from the kinds of burdens that decrease service to patients and are more administrative burdens that they have, they have come to really resent. And these, these conditions that lead to the burnout syndrome decrease the quality of care, decrease our effectiveness as physicians, and we need to address those in a way that lets our doctors focus on what we do best, taking care of our patients. He would be an awesome president because he's an awesome doctor. He's just a wonderful role model for students, for residents, for other doctors. Um, he really has an appreciation and respect for his patients. He loves what he does. He'll come out of the room saying, why would I want to do anything else than this? I think he would make a great
great president. I think he could take his group of doctors possibly to another level. And so I jumped at the opportunity when they asked me if I wanted to run for president-elect, and I feel like this is a prime opportunity for me to, to step up uh, my game and, uh, and serve the academy in a way that, that I'm uniquely qualified for based on my practice experience and, and the things I've learned uh, through the years of practice and service on the board.